Hey, everyone, we're here on Tolan still. And I noticed that they had a new, like, different tiered mock hot daily. So we grabbed the level 2 one. We did a few kills. Um, it moved a little bit. But then we found this other, uh, get a plush for killing mock hot. So I figured it's a perfect time to do a codex hunt on these guys since this gives us 10 pack of it in evade. And I'm kind of curious what the level 3 or level 4 ones give us. But we're definitely going to want a skill pill of that variety going on. And I think I'm going to take a loot pill as well. Alright, I have to wait. There we go. And I thought we would... Just kind of kill a few of these small ones and see how... It does look like the bar moves every kill at least. Not very much necessarily, but... And we're getting some mock hot hands. Those are worth about 200% markup. Per, so uh, the rest is kind of normal loot. And I've noticed that there's no mock hot youngs out here at this time it kind of starts with matures and goes up to providers in this particular area i wonder how the hide is we've been getting a little bit of that what's the markup on that oh not very much so we'd definitely rather get the hands than the hide You see, the, the level 1 Makat daily is to kill 40 things. Um, it's just for handgun, which isn't a skill that I particularly like. You know, since we use rifles and whatnot. And so, I thought we would kind of experiment and see on these level 2 and level 3 ones. But it notches up every kill, but you better really be paying attention or you won't notice. I assume it'll be better with these higher maturity ones. So we'll kind of sneak across over here and see what we can make happen. Let's see how hard they hit through the pixie armor. We might have to switch up. Oh, that's kind of definitely dealable. How's our codex going? About half a percent on these guys I think it's going to be old alpha to prowler maybe stalker over here Well, let's see how our progress is going now. Oh, those are definitely bigger jumps. I think we might do it this way. And we're starting to make a little bit of progress on that plush already. Oh, there's a stalker. Yeah, I definitely like hitting the higher maturities for this. 
I think it'll go a little faster, maybe. Plus, there'll be a higher chance we get a generic fuse or something like that. Especially with the Prowlers and the Stalkers, there's a, definitely a higher chance on that, I think. Especially if we get a good multiplier. Because they're kind of a uh, high TT value, if I remember correctly. Nice, that's a nice global. 200 ped on a little mock hot. I think we've broken the outside of that island now. So it looks like the plush will take a little while. But it's a nice little add-on for the codex and these dailies. I'm not sure when they added these uh, extra mock hot dailies. Um since this is the first time kind of seeing it. But like I said, this one gives 10 pack of evade. And so I'm curious what the other two that they added kind of give. And so I thought we would kind of codex on these a little bit. Rock this level 2 out. Hopefully get it all the way done, but... These do seem to be looting pretty okay, though. I mean, outside that big global.
And we're making reasonable progress on the codex, which is always nice. Yeah, we get a very wide variety of loot. Some skins, a few hands, animal hide, those focus lenses, which aren't horrible on markup, but not amazing. A bunch of shrapnel to keep killing with. Guessing we're about halfway on that level 2 daily now. Give or take. I'm not sure we, where we break in over this kind of crest because of how densely they're popped up right now. But if they want to keep walking over a little bit so we can pick them off and create an entry, that'd be nice. Nice, there's a little 30 ped global. We're definitely happy with the double global on this run. I mean, nothing noteworthy in the loot, but it's really hard to be sad when you hear crumpets.
I know there's another daily that gives evade. So now you have this one and the Bari Kill 100. Let's figure a little better way to break in than I just attempted. Well, it's a serious hunt, but you could definitely rock through that in a single sitting. Speaking about that level 2 mock hunt daily here. Like, we're already three quarters of the way through, what, about 20 minutes in or so? So, probably going to take about half an hour. Um, obviously, we had a bigger gun, it would go a little quicker. Oh, he brought a friend, or rather the friend hit us from the side. Luckily, these don't hit very hard through the pixie armor and the 2A plates that we're currently using. And I'm not real sure on the damage type for these, to be honest. keep creeping on me from behind. They keep spawning and kind of walking in up the hill here.
Well, that wasn't bad. 12 head. Oh, that guy's aggroed already, too. You can see because he's walking weird. And so it looks like out here it's kind of alpha, old alpha to stalkers. Well, there's a little bit of paint. We're never sad about paint. One day I'll, I'll use all my paint and be a colorator, whatever that profession is called. Well, finally, a, a not a level one in it or whatnot. Ooh, targeted the wrong one. I was almost running out there. About to have five aggroed on me instead of the two I got. Not saying it was going to end badly, but it had potential. And I guess if we don't like the reward on the level 3 or whatnot, we can always just abandon that quest and try and grab a different one. Or wait for the level 2 to be available for us again. To be honest, I'm not real sure how that works. I'm not sure if we'll have to go knock out the daily mock hut of 40 real fast to get the next one. Since it'll um, not be on cooldown by the time we finish this. I think we only need a couple more kills for this, uh, daily. Ooh, one more, I bet. Now we just have to go back and uh, get a reward, so let's do that. Well, we about hit that one right on the nose. So let's roll in here and get our reward.
There's our little bit of evade. Let's see what the level 3 one is. So let's take a look. Oh, and it's 20 pack of evade. And obviously it'll take a little longer to fill this one than the other ones. So these are some nice uh, evade rewards that you can get on Tolan now. If you like to hunt these Makots. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the level 2 daily. And uh, I hope everyone is having an amazing, amazing day. Stay epic.